Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Oh uh, Yeah Gaming. Guys, today is pretty freaking huge. Because if you've been following this channel since the very beginning, God, it's almost been two weeks now, <laughs> but if you've been following this channel since the very beginning, you'll know that I've been hard at work writing this huge script on the video game PewDiePie Legend of the Brofist. And I can finally say, after all this time, it is officially done. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> Thank God. It clocked in at 60, 60 pages and over 28,000 words. So yeah, my work is still cut out for me. I gotta record that monster. I gotta edit down the recording. But yeah, there is a lot of work to, to be done still. But the good news is that... The main chunk of it is over. The script is done. So, pat myself on the back. I'm really proud of myself for fucking getting that shit done. And yeah, new main channel video is cooking up. I promise you that. So, today we're going to talk about the Euphoric Brothers a little bit. Uh, which is not too uncommon for me or this channel. But it's actually nothing super negative at all. It's, in fact, something kind of really cool. But before we get into that, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get to 100k at some point this year. And let's say we're trying to get to 50k before the end of like, I don't know, February, March. We'll figure something out. Uh, you know, just subscribe. Hit the button. Hit the like button too. Get this video to one like. So yeah, I was just chilling out yesterday on Twitter after I finished my monster of a video. And um, I was kind of shocked when I got the notification that the Euphoric Brothers tweeted again. Because if you don't know, they actually quit Twitter like... Jesus Christ, like a year ago at this point, and they they don't really like anything on Twitter anymore, they don't really use Twitter anymore, like their extent of using Twitter in the last little bit was just to respond to controversy and drama, which like, fair I guess, yeah. Uh, so I was shocked when they made like, a, a normal tweet, um, where they announced something called the Euphoric Partners Program, which I'll get into the specifics of in a second, but like the TLDR of this is that it's literally just the fanverse, but Garten of Banban, like the FNAF fanverse, right? Which, obviously the fanverse has had its fair share of issues, so I think any other developers trying to do that is always going to be a bit of like a bold move, because you know, you can see how, you can see how quickly things can crumble at the seams, just with like, the, the littlest of dominoes being ticked over, right? But overall, I actually do think this is a good idea. For some reason, the brothers have been kind of against... Well, I don't know if... It's hard to say against is the word, but they've been... Eh, I guess, yeah, they've been against fan games that specifically use Garten of Ban Ban characters. I don't think they've gone after any fan games that use, like, OC content farm characters or anything like that. But, like, I think games that specifically use, like, Garten of Ban Ban in the title, even if they're, like, free fan games or whatever they're not like super huge on. So I guess this is their way to kind of work around that. So people who want to make those kinds of games can apply them to this program and actually sell them for profit instead of them just being free, which is kind of interesting. It's an interesting workaround for that. Uh, and I'm not sure how I feel about it, but at least on a surface level, it's good that this exists now. So people who want to make those fan games can actually make those fan games. So why don't we read the Euphoric Partners program apply page and we'll get all the juicy details and talk about it. So let's start from the beginning. Introducing the Euphoric Partners Program. Are you a game developer or a game development team with a passion for indie games like us? If yes, then you are in the right place. We've received many innovative Garden of Ban Ban fan game requests and we've thought, why not make them official? I wonder what they're referring to here. <laughs> I, I know this is like serious. I wonder what they're referring to here. Like do people just on their discord and in their DMs like be like, Here's a fan game, like, sh make it official? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I don't, I, I, I cannot be, I cannot fathom what they're referring to here. Unless they're referring to stuff like Gauntlet and Reincarnated, which I don't think were ever, like, applied to them in any way. But, I mean, whatever. I'm looking too much into it. Let's keep going. We're here to support fellow indie developers. If you have a creative idea for a Garden of Ban Ban spin-off game of any genre, and are looking to make it come to life commercially, we are certainly open to discuss it. And then there's like a big old apply now button where you can, you know, send the, your application. So if any of you are 18 year old plus game developers that want to make a Garden of Band, Band game 
for profit <laughs> with the Euphoric Brothers, uh, I mean, just go to their Twitter and you can find the link. You can, you can make a Garten of Fan Fan if you want. <laughs> I do think it's cool that they're like super open to this being any genre because obviously the Garten of Ban Ban like cast of characters is not very scary. Uh, they're, they're more cutesy if anything, for the most part at least. And I think that lends itself to other genres like platformers and stuff. Like I could see like a really good, like surprise, like amazing 2D platformer coming out of this, like PewDiePie Legend of the Brofist style. Yo, someone get, someone get Outer Minds on this. Outer Minds is the devs who made Legend of the Brofist. If they made a spiritual successor to that game it, with fucking Garden of Ban Ban characters, that would like literally be like my favorite game of all time, probably. <laughs> like, a, like a really good game, like that would be like fire. I'd be so down for that. Now, the main reason I'm excited for this program, other than the endless amounts of content that will come from it, I'm sure, is that a certain game called Gauntlet of Ban Ban has another shot at life. Let me let me let me take you down this, okay? Squeaks de Corgay, great guy, creator of Shipwreck 64. A while ago, in a week, he made a Garden of Ban Ban isometric horror game where four people played as remotes who had to collect eggs and put them in nests. And one person played as Opila Bird and had to stop those remotes from putting the eggs in the nests. It's a really, really, really fucking fun game. It is so incredibly fun. And it was unjustly taken down all, th all th those months ago. It was taken down. One of the most fun fucking things ever. And even if Squeaks doesn't submit the game again, which like totally fair, I understand, right? I get it. After that experience, I don't know if I'd want to either. But even if... If just one person submits a similar idea that's equally as fun, I will be so over that, okay? This is the one shot. Because I'm banned from all the Roblox games still. I can't play the Roblox games. This is the next best thing, okay? I need this to be real. This would be the greatest thing ever next to Outer Minds making a Ban Ban game. Which they should 100% they do. They should drop all their morals and make like the most fire Ban Ban game ever. <laughs> also, I really like the logo for this partner program. It's just like multiple other euphoric brothers this is the euphoric family now it's literally the euphoric family also this logo is better than the original fanverse logo because that one is fucking ugly <laughs> i think they started using a different one on like some youtube's merch stuff which is good because well, fuck the fanverse logo it's so bad anyway yeah that's pretty much all i gotta say about this i'm 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 interested to see where this goes you know uh, well, well, maybe we'll check back in a couple months time or whenever the first project from this initiative finally comes out but yeah, it's cool to see. It's cool to see them, you know, actually support some indie devs and give some people some cheddar and get let them get some cheddar back from Steam sales or whatever ends up happening with this. But yeah, it, it's pretty cool, I gotta say. Anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it for me for today. I will see you all tomorrow. And yeah, take it easy, everybody.